Adrift. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words, the words, the words. Adrift is the story of an astronaut who wakes up floating silently in space amongst the debris of a destroyed space station. The only survivor of a catastrophic event, left with no memory, a critically damaged EVA suit, leaking oxygen and no way home. Yes guys, this is a Oculus Rift or VR ready game. It's actually uh, meant for the Oculus Rift. I don't know if it works on the Vive or Vive or Vuv or Voot or whatever the hell you call it, but I don't care because I have an Oculus Rift, so I don't give a shit. Now I'm using the DK2 Rift and I have to say guys, I have to, I have have. This game works the best out of any game I've ever played on the DK2 version of the Rift. I'm running the latest drivers on the Rift, the latest runtime, so that probably has a lot to do with it. It works brilliant. I mean, why buy the new Rift when this one works perfect? It, it's great, I can even read the text. Well, most of it. The way the Rift works with this game, and you are not looking at Rift footage, because Rift footage is sh I'll show you Rift. This is Rift footage right now, guys. There. Twin screened. So, you know what, it's, it's bullshit. You, you won't know anything, but... So I'm just showing you it without the Rift. Essentially, as the Rift, your head movement turns your head inside the spacesuit. It doesn't actually turn your spacesuit, which is really nice because there's a head-ups display in your spacesuit that you can look at, and it's really nice. The only way you can control the spacesuit when using a VR device is using an Xbox controller, which is a bit... I'd, I'd much rather use a keyboard. It operates... The spacesuit works like a, a spaceship, essentially, with your thrusters all over the place, thrusting up, down, left, right, uh, looping the loop and all that kind of shit. Now the whole game revolves around your suit being made of f***ing toilet paper. Um, if you even bump into a wall at microscopic movement you will damage that suit and you'll start getting oxygen leaks all over the bloody shop. So oxygen is the name of the game. In fact this game is all about collecting oxygen tanks. <laughs> it's like a litter bug simulator uh, to be honest because you just pick up these tanks and then throw away the the md and the tank will fill your suit full which runs out if you were thrusting every time you thrust it kind of uses a bit of oxygen up so you've got to learn to minimize your thrusting and just drift around the space station uh, the object of the game is to repair the space station and take note of the story by accessing people's personal logs, accessing their emails, and just generally being like a woman and nosy. Mackie can't say that. Yeah, of course, it's men as well, but mainly women. They're so jealous, guys. They just check everything. They don't give a fuck. As soon as you go out, it's like, hey, I'm gonna access your emails and see what's going down. Who are you talking to on the internet? You're drifting around adrift in this space station accessing PCs, reading logs, you find these audio recorders and you listen to them and you have to repair three things on the space station and then get onto the, I shouldn't, I don't want to spoil it, I don't want to spoil it but there is a way off guys and you can kind of do it in between five and six hours I think. Um, I haven't finished the game yet uh, because I had two big and buddies that's the reason I haven't finished the game, guys. Um, I nearly threw up. I had to switch it off. Uh, the, the big and buddies were kind of come out the wrong hole, guys. Uh, wouldn't have been a good idea in a spacesuit. I just find the gameplay boring. Floating from one oxygen tank to another and then diving into a repair bay when your suit gets f***ed up too much from crashing into walls, floors and ceilings. Uh, you get totally disorientated as well and it's, I mean, it's a great VR experience, but it feels more like a VR demo than a game, and it's a £15 game, and I don't think there's anywhere near enough gameplay for this to be merited as a £15 game. I mean, it looks gorgeous, the graphics are bloody nice, the whole sense of, when you go out of the space station and you see the Earth, and you see the wreckage of the space station, and it gives you that sense of, of, of height, because you've got that sense of depth, with it being in virtual reality. It's it's incredible. If you've got a Rift, then this game is probably worth buying just for the VR experience. But if you don't have a Rift, seriously, there is f all to see here, guys. Just what you're seeing now, this flat image, It's there is no game, really. Um, it's a bit of a firewatch, you know, where you're just there to, to tell the story. Yeah, you've, you've got to repair it, but let's be honest. It's not exactly rocket science. Guys, rocket science. Rockets, you know, space. 
you just follow the linear trail kind of you can see where you've got to go doors is locked doors is open go to the open doors you know you know and there's an oxygen there there's oxygen there's oxygen everywhere guys you're not going to run out of oxygen unless you're a prick i've run out a few times actually and that's it that's the game there is nothing else to this guys it's just a brilliant vr demo but a shit fucking game and that's a shame there should have been an alien on there there should have been klingons there should have been you know you should be walking around the space station and realize that the reason it's broken is disruptor fire there should be a, a place where you can get out your space suit get oxygen going on walk around do some craft weapons there should be at least three other women on board so you can have three some lesbian sex i mean there was none of that absolutely nothing so there you go guys if you have vr you might want to check it out don't have two bacon buddies before you start doing rolls in your space suit though and that's about it guys and i'm sorry if I, my voice is still a bit wrong i'm still not fully back to full health which is why there hasn't been a lot of videos of late but i'm almost out of man flu stage and i should be back to full next week so there you go guys that's a drift if you've got vr yeah you might want to check it out it's good fun if you don't have vr no chance nine nine it's not worthy bye by taking another selfish paycheck job while my life passes me by. Man, man, we don't care. We really don't care. Father of the year. Yeah, we don't care. Alex really came through for uh, me. Oh, pity party much? My over one. Pity party much? Can't wait to get off this goddamn station. Uh, wants to sing a sad song for you. Turn him on, turn him on, turn on those sad songs. When all hope is gone, just tune in and press the button. I hope it's not Mr. Depressed's room. Uh oh, he's the space police. <laughs>